down here at the camp, sitting in the swing. Yeah, relaxing, watching the river go by a little bit. Beautiful day here in October. Just cool enough where you're not sweating. Re breeze is blowing. Today I want to talk to you about Facebook and free speech. Now I use Facebook largely to keep up with people that I normally don't get to see and wouldn't get to talk to. Would have lost touch with long ago. And uh, it's good for that. I also use it to promote my business. I'm a firearms instructor. I teach anything from concealed weapons, NRA basic pistol, rifle, and shotgun. And I also teach advanced courses, one to four day pistol classes, tactical shotgun, tactical carbine, counter carjacking, and uh, active shooter training. Facebook apparently can't make up its mind. You've got a guy that runs the company, founder Mark Zuckerberg, or whatever his name is. Uh, says, oh, I'm a sportsman. I enjoy my hunting. Okay. And then at the same time, I've got restrictions placed on me. And this time, what the post that got it on was a YouTube video that I had shared to some groups. And uh, it involved one of my favorite 1100 Remington shotguns. Now, this is not a street sweeper. It's not a uh, tactical shotgun. It's not even a law enforcement type shotgun. This one is a sporting shotgun. Same kind you would use to hunt ducks and geese and deer and pigs and turkeys and squirrels and rabbits with. Matter of fact, I've hunted all of those with it. You got a bunch of people saying in society, yes, we believe in the right to free speech. Yes, that's if you agree with them. Uh, they believe in your right to free speech. If you disagree with them, it's hate speech. And uh, you get called names like a Nazi and all kinds of other things. And a lot of your companies really don't know which way to go. They want to try to keep everybody happy and not offend anybody. Well, truth of the matter is... If you believe in the right to free speech, somebody might get offended. You know. And that's just the truth of the matter. No, I don't mind offending people. You know. I have my opinions. If you find them offensive, great. You don't have to listen to my videos. You don't have to listen to me talk. You, know, you can turn them off. Same thing as I've done for years whenever I've seen things on the television or heard things on the radio I didn't agree with. I mean, this is decades in the making. No, I don't agree with what this guy says on talk radio. I'm probably not going to listen to him anymore. He may have some good points and he may make some interesting points. Yeah, I may give him another listen. I uh, went through the process to try to appeal this decision. And this is not the first time Facebook has done this. And got no response back from them. So apparently, you know, they have some 
system that decides what's going to be offensive and what's not going to be offensive and nobody behind the controls of that machine to look at it and say hey this guy really didn't say anything wrong I go out of my way in a lot of my videos not to use any profanity uh, because that's a poor reflection uh, Yes, on occasion, I have been known to use some. I have even been known to tell a dirty joke or two. You know, if you don't like it, too bad. I guess you don't want me running for president. Well, that's what I've got to say about that. And Facebook and social media in general. Later on.